Today is the 50th anniversary of the March on Washington. Many Virginians remember that day personally. A lot of us weren't even born yet. But regardless, every American knows how important it was in our nation's history. Dr. King gave the whole country a reminder of our national creed, pointed out how far short we were falling of preserving the right to liberty granted to us by God. 50 years ago on August 28, 1963, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. delivered one of the most important speeches of our nation's history. Looking back over the last 50 years, it's pretty remarkable to reflect on how far America and Virginia have come. There's no doubt that we've made significant progress in making sure all Americans, as Dr. King would have said, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, have the chance to pursue their version of the American dream that Dr. King spoke of. But while the progress has been undeniable, we still have a lot of work to do. 50 years ago today, Dr. King said, now is the time to open the doors of opportunity to all of God's children. 50 years later, many of those same doors remain shut for too many of our kids. In the 21st century, education is the door to opportunity. Too many Virginia students are stuck in neighborhoods with failing or subpar schools denied the opportunity to pursue their dreams by a system that sometimes cares more about self-preservation than about the children who are our future. No child deserves that. As governor, I'll make it a top priority to give students and parents real options so they can either reform the school they're in or find a better one. A school where they can dream of rising, of seizing the opportunity that is the promise of America. 50 years ago, Dr. King spoke with eloquence about his dream of freedom and opportunity. For our children today to gain the benefits of the freedom Dr. King worked toward, we have to make sure that every child has the opportunity to learn in a school that can help them achieve their dreams. We need to put children first. I'm ready to reach across the aisle to improve public education and to create options for kids in failing schools so they can succeed. All of our students deserve the opportunity to pursue their dreams, just as Dr. King would have wanted for them. Virginia already has many teachers who are doing a phenomenal job preparing our children to succeed. We need to make sure more great teachers are entering the system and that they have the tools and resources they deserve. I'm ready to work in a bipartisan fashion to encourage private investors to help rebuild our aging schools, creating thousands of jobs and making sure Virginia students have the chance to learn in a 21st century classroom. As you prepare to exercise the right to vote this November that Dr. King helped millions to achieve, I hope you'll look at perhaps my most important set of proposals that can bring Dr. King's hopes for our children's dreams to become a reality. You can read about my education plan by visiting Cuccinelli.com. Thank you for watching and I hope all of you will take a moment to reflect on what this anniversary means for all of us.